Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1.20 and 1.21. So we'll start from 1.20. The statement is the axial force in column supporting the timber beam shown is 20 kips. Determine the smallest allowable length L of the bearing plate if the bearing stress in timber not exceed 400 PSI. So you can see this is the column support having a load of P which is 20 kips this is the bearing plate and this is the timber beam which is supported by this bearing plate and this uh, support uh, column supporting so load is given bearing stress is given so you have to determine this smallest length of the bearing plate the width is given as six inch so let's start with the solution so we know that uh, bearing stress is equal to load per unit bearing area so first you can see from here that bearing area this bearing plate is in contact with this timber beam so this area is width into l which is l into 6 so bearing area will be equal to a b will be equal to length multiplied by 6 which will be equal to 6 times l now we have p we have uh, sigma b which is given as so a b will be equal to p divided by bearing stress so p is 20 kips so 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by bearing stress which is equal to 400 psi so 400 and that will be equal to E B so E B is equal to two twenty into ten to the power three divided by four hundred. So we know that E B is equal to six L. So six L will be equal to twenty into ten to the power three divided by four hundred. So from here you will get L will be equal to twenty into ten to the power three divided by four hundred multiply by six so when you solve this you will get this minimum length of the bearing plate will be equal to 8.33 inch which is the answer of this question 1.20 now we'll move toward the second problem and the statement of this problem is an axial load p is supported by a short wide flange beam which is w8 into 40 columns of cross section area is 11.7 square inch and is distributed to concrete foundation by square plate as shown knowing that the average normal stress in column must not exceed 30 ksi and the bearing stress on concrete foundation must not exceed 3 ksi determine the side a of the plate that will provide the most economical and safe design so you can see this is w column 8 into 40 and the load p is applied this is the foundation and this is the bearing plate having side a by a the in given data it is given that uh, normal stress in this uh, column must not exceed 30 ksi and bearing stress on concrete foundation is 3 ksi so let's start with the solution so what we will do is that uh, First, we know that normal stress or average normal stress or normal stress is equal to load per unit area. So this load is given, uh, this load P is not given and average normal stress is given. So we will find first this P. So P will be equal to average normal stress in column multiplied by the area. Area is given as this and average normal stress is this. So 30 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 11.7 which is the area will give you load and when you calculate it it will be equal to 351 kips. So now we have this load. What we will do is that we will find uh, we will find the bearing area okay so we know that bearing stress is equal to load divided by bearing area clear so this is the bearing area this bearing plate of a by a is in contact with this foundation so bearing area will be equal to a multiplied by a 
okay so from here you will get uh, this bearing area will be equal to p divided by bearing stress so p is give p we have find out 351 kips so 351 divided by bearing area which is given as 3 ksi so divide by 3 will give you the area which is equal to 107 square inch now this is the bearing area which we have calculated 11 111 uh, 117 square inch and we know that this is the square plate square plate so area will be equal to a b which we have calculated is a by a which is equal to a square so here we will write area of bearing plate is a square which is 117 square inch so from here you will get a will be if you take the square root on both side so you will get this a which comes out to be 10.82 inch so this is the minimum size of this bearing plate 10.82 inch into 10.82 inch which satisfy the above condition and that was all about these two problem 1.21 and 1.20 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video which i post if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching